Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be sowing these. We'll call Rubecchia. I say plants for pollinators, which is great. Attracts wildlife. So, just let's turn this one around. And it says here Rubecchia Aries, half hardy perennial, long lasting cone flowers with strongly contrasting bi coloured blooms on tall but sturdy stems, a rewarding addition to mixed border. Our wildlife friendly flowers are a magnet for bees, butterflies and other pollinators that play a vital role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. It says here, indoor sowing, sow thinly in trays of seed compost, cover lightly with a fine layer of compost, firm gently, keep moist and warm. Seedlings usually appear in 14 to 21 days. Growing on, when large enough, transplant 5 centimetres, 2 inches apart in trays, stand outside for a few days in late May, avoid frost, transplant 12 inches apart in flowering positions, keep moist and weed free, remove dead heads to prolong flowering. So yeah, it says there, sow indoors, February, March, April, sow outdoors, April and May, plant out June, flowers July, August, September, October. So let's get these. Open, shall we? Let's have a look at them. So, what's going on? So, there should be pretty large seeds in here. As you can see with my trays, I just don't sow one lot, I sow at least two varieties, sometimes three and four varieties. I've got three in this one. I've got marigolds and petunias in there. Let's get these open. I'm using a peat based compost. I know people are going to say use peat free. I will as soon as some decent peat free compost comes out on the market. I will start using it, I promise. But if anybody's got any suggestions, any good peat free compost they've come across, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll get back to you. There we go. There are the seeds. Let me just read how many is in here. There it is. 500 seeds in there, so plenty. See them there? All I do to sow them when they're this big, just give my hand a little tap. Just get them to drop off like so. That way you can really spread them about nicely. Let me tap, tap your arm or your hand, as you can see. Nice, even distribution there. As I do always, I can see packets given, fold them over twice, get in there on there, and really seal them in there. Because they are good to 2025, 20, and I've had I've been sowing seeds that are eight or ten years old, and they've sown and grown quite well after they've been open. So yeah, on to then. Just get a little bit of this peat based compost, rub it in between my hands. I really like covering. Once that's done, like that, all you need to do then is name tag it, which is there. Rebecca, give them a nice water with my watering can bottle, and then that does not need to go in my tray because the compost is already nice and moist. My watering tray. Then once you've done that, what I'm going to do then is place these two over the top, keep the moisture in. And you can see there how much moisture it helps keeping. That will help them germinate quicker. And I'll keep checking those, put them in a nice, warm, out of direct sunlight place, and they should germinate in no time. If you've got any questions, about how to grow Rubecchia or any of the other plants or flowers, please don't hesitate to leave a message. If you like the videos, please subscribe, please like. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.